Hey everybody, Rad Dad Cooks here reporting live from my garage freezer. Going fishing today for some salmon. Oh, we got a pole bender, everyone. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, sockeye. Just what I was fishing for. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rad Dad here. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Ding that notification bell. That way you can find out every time I come out with a new video. Today we're kicking off a little mini series that's all about salmon. We're going to talk about what to look for when you purchase it, the basic types of salmon that are out there available, how to store it, and then how to prepare it. Make some awesome recipes that'll knock mommy's socks off. Now, in shopping for salmon, there's generally four different species that you're going to come across, three of which are from the Pacific and one from the Atlantic. The three from the Pacific are king, sockeye, and coho. The one from the Atlantic is, obviously enough, Atlantic salmon. Now, from the three from the Pacific side, king salmon is going to be the most flavorful, have the highest oil content, and also be the most expensive. The next down in flavor and oil content is my personal favorite, sockeye. This varietal is widely available between the months of May and September. It's got an awesome flavor and it's a little bit more affordable than King. Now the third variety from the Pacific coast is gonna be coho. Coho is renowned among sports fishermen as putting up a hell of a fight. And it is also known as the best one for grilling. The firmer texture of the coho salmon is gonna make it less likely to break up on your grill surface. Coho is also known for having a very mild salmon flavor. This is really good for people that are beginners or noobs to salmon or fish in general. Moving on to the East Coast, Atlantic salmon is the only species available. Atlantic salmon has been fished to extinction over the years, so a majority of what you're gonna find is gonna be farm raised. Being from the East Coast myself and being introduced to salmon with the farm raised Atlantic salmon, it was all I knew until I moved out west and I got familiar with the Pacific varieties of salmon. And I gotta say, there's really no comparison at all. I can honestly tell you guys that I will never eat farm raised Atlantic salmon again. The texture and the flavor are in a league of their own over the farm raised Atlantic salmon. No matter what variety of salmon you choose to go with, just make sure it's wild caught. Don't do the farm raised stuff. It's just too disgusting to even get into in this video, but go for wild caught. When shopping for salmon, there's only three different options that you can find it in. That is fresh, previously frozen, and frozen. When shopping for fresh salmon, there are a few things to look for. It should be dark pink to red in color. It shouldn't have any gray spots or discolored sections. It should be moist, but not slimy. The smell should be closer to an ocean breeze than fishy, and it should never smell like a cat food factory. Fresh salmon comes around in the largest numbers and is the most affordable between the months of May and September. Previously frozen salmon is exactly how it sounds previously frozen. What they mean by previously frozen is that the fish was caught and then frozen, normally on the fishing vessel itself or somewhere close to where it pulls in the port, and then it is shipped to your local grocer or market where they then thaw it out and either slice it in the fillets or clean it up so you have a nice clean slab of salmon to put into the display case. Follow the same guidelines that you would follow when shopping for fresh salmon when looking at previously frozen salmon. Pay close attention to the sliminess and the smell of your previously frozen salmon. This will let you know if it's been handled properly between the time it was thawed out and put into the display case, and also give you an indicator of how long it's been in that display case. Stay within these guidelines and you'll be serving some badass fish. If you want to freeze fresh salmon or some salmon that you purchased at the store that was previously frozen and then thawed out and then you brought it home and now you want to freeze it, you're going to want to wrap it with plastic wrap. Wrap it two times, then put it in either a freezer bag or some sort of Tupperware container and then into the freezer. This is going to help prevent freezer burn and also help preserve the texture and the flavor of the fish. When it comes time to thaw out that salmon so you can whip up your favorite recipe, the best way to do this is put it in the fridge and leave it overnight. Now, if you don't have time for this, the only other method I endorse is soaking it in cold water for an hour. Simply place your cryovac sections into the cold water, not hot water, cold water. Place them into the cold water. If they're not cryovac 
Go ahead and put them in a Ziploc bag or something else that'll keep that water off them while you're thawing. Set a timer for 30 minutes and let them thaw for about 30 and then go back and change your water out so you have a fresh round of cold water for the second 30 minutes. After the hour has passed or your fish is completely thawed, whichever comes first, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. Don't forget, after you thaw out your salmon, it's only good for two days. When you're ready to prepare your salmon, take it out of the fridge and remove it from the cryovac bag or the plastic wrapping that you had it in. Then pat it down with a paper towel to make sure it's nice and dry and you are ready to carry on with whatever recipe you are going to make. If you're working with fresh salmon, just go ahead and give it a little rinse and then pat it down with a paper towel and you are ready to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on selecting salmon, storing it, and getting it ready to prepare. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe and ding that notification bell. That way you can find out when we come out with the next videos in this series on salmon. Thanks a lot, guys. And see you next time. Peace.